I'm going to do an introduction and later I'm going to describe the methodology that we have used to, to definite this method, uh, show you the materials and the results that we found and finally with the conclusion. Uh, first of all, with, we study fracture mechanics. Uh, we have to do the different the differences between cracks and notch. And uh, due to uh, notch have this uh, finite uh, <coughs> radius, uh, radius at the end of the, of the notch. And for this, uh, we can find some relaxation in the stresses at the notch tip. So uh, this may result in a higher factor uh, tolerance. Uh, first of all, we have this uh, theory of critical distance that is a well-known local approach to study the, the notch. In this case, we, we have those two, two parameters that critical, critical distance and linear strain, and with one of with we get one of them, we can uh, get the other one. And we have to do a calibration to get the inner end strain, and in this case, uh, we use the line method. On the other hand, we have this engineering tool that is a cassette and diagram that helps us to study uh, factor mechanics and plastic collapse. In this case, the we relation, we have a relation between the uh, stress intensity factor and uh, factor toughness. So we can uh, find this, coordin this coord uh, coordinate to determine if one component is in a safe and unsafe for a particular condition in relation with this uh, failure assessment. Uh, combining both of methodology, uh, we can apply the, the, the factor assessment diagram uh, with like a crack condition, but with this modification to take in account the, the notch geometry. This is the specimen that we use in the test campaign. In the test campaign. We perform nine tensile tests to define the uh, tensile property for the material. We test uh, three raster stations and five different notch values. And the uh, manufacturing process is also the position of the well, from the third result, uh, we can um, find, as in previous research, these uh, well-known uh, better tensile properties in, in ELA uh, 019 orientation, uh, which can be used to a, a fragile, a fragile uh, situation in this, for this faster orientation. From the fracture uh, test, uh, we found a clear effect or not uh, effect. We don't have any or a strong difference between different order, raster orientation. And finally, for two millimeters uh, radius, uh, we see that this much emphasis is uh, uh, Later, we apply this uh, 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 theory for our critical distance to determine the critical distance for every, uh, every orientation from all tests performed. And we found this different value for different raster orientation. And finally, we can combine this uh, uh, critical instance to obtain the fracture tunnels and put it in, in the uh, fracture and the failure assessment here. So, the way we can see that the assessment uh, using following the ACDM, the 5045 average fracture keep. A, a safe result in relation with the uh, tests that we perform. Only in this case, for PLA 019 orientation, we have only one result that is in a safe, in a safe condition related with the fire uh, assessment. This is the uh, other extreme uh, situation with 40, 40, uh, with 45, 40, uh, minus 45 uh, orientation. With, we have this higher level of possibility. And finally, to conclude, we applied the final assignment diagram to a non-metallic materials, in this case, PLA. We use uh, notches and we uh, prove this uh, methodology for fusion, uh, fusion deposition modeling and manufacturing. We apply the theory of critical instant to, <coughs> to get the attractive uh, uh, focus on our specimens. We uh, apply the combination of uh, Fire assessment with the theory of critical distance, 
and finally we get these acceptable levels of uh, conservability, conservability when we, we use final assessment diagram in the analysis of uh, uh, fractal tolerance. So thank you. Thank you for your nice presentation. We have still time for some questions. No one? <coughs> I'm not from plastics, I'm from metals, so I can't make you a question. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Thank you.